to say congratulations to our terrific state. Appreciate the work that our state legislature does. Uh, we're a well-run state. The nation knows that. We balance our budget. We have low levels of unemployment. We have great schools, a great education system. It's a terrific state to live in, and we're fortunate to have leaders like we have here. I'll also say a word about uh, uh, the president. Uh, look, President Biden and I often disagree. Uh, he sent $1.9 trillion out a couple of years ago to our economy. It helped fuel inflation, and people are suffering as a result of that. And now and then he does something I agree with, and I consider laudatory. His trip to Kyiv to be with President Zelensky and to stand firm for the principle of liberty uh, is something which I salute. It was courageous and the right thing to do. And I appreciate him doing that and recognizing that the people of the United States of America stand on the side of liberty. With that, happy to take any questions you might have. Senator, have you decided whether to run for re-election? If not, when do you plan to decide? Uh, you know, uh, for me, the question is always, what can I get done? And I have a list of things that I'm working on. I'm going to get an assessment of how effective I will be going forward in getting those things done. I'll make that assessment over the coming months. And sometime, I don't know, spring or summer, uh, I'll make that decision and, and announce it. Are you confident you could win again if you ran? And would you do any convention, or would you just go straight to the signature gathering to get on the primary? Well, I, I, I don't know what the process would be and the tactics would be, but I'm confident that I would win if I decide to run. Uh, I'll have the resources. I have an extraordinary team, uh, and I believe the people of Utah would be with me. Senator, you passed a bill last year about the Great Salt Lake studying it. After that study in a B1 by BYU saying that the lake has five years, what actions do you think could be done at the federal level? Well, the federal government will back the state in the decisions the state reaches. And if there's uh, extraordinary funding that's needed, I want to make sure that the Army Corps of Engineers is part of the studying group so that they're going to have the credibility that will get Washington on board. But ultimately, I think what's going to have to happen relates to conservation. Conservation by industry, by homeowners, by government, uh, as well as uh, in agriculture. Uh, and so we're going to get the specifics that come from these studies and then carry them out because it is unacceptable to have the Great Salt Lake go away. Senator, what do you think about Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's call on social media for a national d d divorce, dividing the country up between Republican and Dem Democratic states? You know, I think Abraham Lincoln dealt with that kind of uh, insanity. Uh, we're not going to divide the country. It's uh, united we stand, divided we fall. Uh, and, and look, there's no question, but there are some people in my party and in the other party that say things to try and get a headline and, and get people to send them money. And that happens to uh, lead in today's uh, loony left. I should say loony right. On Ukraine, uh, what are your, are your thoughts about your party's uh, attitude toward funding long term? The president's there. I know your, your thoughts on it. But what do you think about Republicans overall and their commitment to Ukraine in this respect, both financially or, or providing uh, artillery and such? Yeah, I, I know that, that Republicans are somewhat divided on this. I think the majority opinion is that we continue to support Ukraine uh, with arms and financial support to help them in their battle against Russian aggression. Uh, we stand for liberty. Uh, I think a lot of people don't recognize that we agreed to defend Ukraine when Ukraine agreed to give up their nuclear weapons some years ago. We signed an agreement that we would help support Ukraine defend its, its sovereignty. That's important to remember. But number two, uh, we've learned that bad actors, if not checked, uh, continue to do bad things. And ultimately, that involves us. And if we want to have a prosperous America at peace, we need to stop people that are uh, aggressively invading their neighbors and terrorizing the world. Turkey and Syria just had a, another earthquake, and not a lot of people are talking about it. What, do you, what actions would you support from the federal government to, to send aid over there? Well, as we look at our foreign aid, clearly one of the areas we're going to have to focus on is getting help to the people in Turkey and Syria, humanitarian aid. Uh, we're surely going to have to help even more. We have uh, various teams there in search and rescue teams, which is laudable. Uh, we have a very substantial presence, as you may know. Jeff Flake, a former member of the Senate, a good friend of mine, is there as the ambassador from the United States. Uh, he's helping guide the kind of uh, response that we can give. But, but right now, it's largely search and rescue. Going forward, we're probably going to see additional help that's going to be needed for the people of Turkey. Last question. Any, any support or comment regarding the nomination 2024? Um, well, I think it's likely that uh, President Biden is going to run, and uh, I, I don't think there's much question that if he runs, he'll be renominated by his party. I think President Trump 
has already announced. I think he's by far the most likely nominee in the Republican Party, but there'll be others that come in. And if the race narrows down to two people, then it could become a real real race. But whether it uh, ever narrows down or not, I just, just don't know. You had a question? Oh, I was wondering if you support the DREAM Act. Hey, pardon? Do you support the DREAM Act? I, I haven't seen the act in its current uh, configuration. Uh, I, I, my view uh, of the bill in the past was it was too broad. Uh, and I looked for providing a pathway to citizenship, perhaps for those that have gone to college or uh, community college and made uh, an additional effort on their own.